Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Cinnamon Wolf. I'm a private photo editor and business coach. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about the importance of updating your footer on your Squarespace website. All right, let's get started. So I have my website pulled up here and I am logged into the back end. You can see uh, my settings over here to the, or not my settings, but my menu over here to the side. And I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom to show you my footer. Now I have a very extensive footer um, and I believe that you should include a lot of good information packed into the footer of your website. The great thing about Squarespace websites is that it's very easy to do that. So, um, I am currently using the Brine template, um, which is a great uh, flexible template that's useful for a lot of different things. You can see here when I, since I'm at, I'm in the back end, that you can see some of the um, editing features come up here. So I have some top blocks on my footer. I also have some middle blocks, as well as a uh, bottom blocks and lower navigation bar. So this is really helpful because I am able to include lots of good information um, essentially on every single page of my website because the footer will show on every single page of my website. Now typically a lot of Squarespace templates come with uh, footers um, pre-edited uh, with just some simple text that says um, something about website, you know, by Squarespace or something like that. And I see that on tons of people's uh, websites and it makes me cringe every single time because um, you just don't need to have that on your website. It makes your website, in my opinion, look a little bit less professional um, and you're, it's not really your job to advertise for Squarespace. It's your job to advertise for your own business. So get those footers updated. It's very simple to update a footer. You use it, you do it just like you do uh, a page on Squarespace website. So I will show you right here in this and my middle block section. I have right here, I have a text block. I have some spacer blocks. I have image blocks next to each other that all link to the articles that I'm featured on these websites. I have a logo file just inserted as an image block. And then I have a text block with some spacers on the side as well as a social link block. So you can see that I just built this footer with all of these different blocks in order to display the way that I would like it to display. And then down here at the bottom in the Brian template, there is a lower navigation bar. If I click into pages, you'll see right here, my footer and navigation is all of these links to these things down here. And then of course, I also have this added in my uh, top blocks, and then I have nothing added in my footer bottom blocks because I've included all the information right here um, where I need it. I definitely recommend that you always include your email address in your footer. It's a very easy way for people to contact you, especially if they are not necessarily looking to contact you through your contact form on your site. Sometimes people might need to contact you for other reasons other than the exact service that you provide. Maybe they want to do a collaboration or give you something. Who knows what people might want. So always provide your email address in a very easy to find location. Um, I also recommend that you uh, put your location if you're a location-based business. Now, my business right now is not a location-based business, so I do not necessarily need to have that in my footer. Um, but if I was, I would have something down here along the lines of you know, wedding photographer in the Seattle area or serving clients in the Seattle area. Or I could list out a lot of different cities if I'm in a, a highly congested area so that people know exactly where I provide my services. I can't tell you how many people and websites I come across where they are a location-based business and their location is not located on their website anywhere. That is a huge problem because people don't know if you are near them. <laughs> so it makes it difficult for them to contact you. Um, so a couple of suggestions just on the footer. It's very easy again, like I said, to update your footer on most Squarespace templates. And I definitely recommend that you get that done uh, right now. And uh, we'll see you for the next video. Bye-bye.